as four lined up. On the north side, the 787 is starting up in 727, very short with the start up, 73, B8 still to come, and then the F35. Car coming up on the Antonov, on the Ant, the 178. Progress D346 Turbo fans, it's all 17,372 pounds of plus. to the family of regional jets which include the Antonov, the AM146, the 158 and the 168. The original, the 148, only dates back to September 2001 when Antonov announced that he's working on a regional airline design to fly 80 passengers in a range of around about 39 nautical miles. Construction commenced in the year 2002. Uh, the formal rollout of the 148 is in October 04. Well, this one is the 178, so it's a complete family of aircraft from Antonov. Production of this family of aircraft is split between Kiev in the Ukraine and a totally unpronounceable place in Russia. <laughs> Voronets. Read a head strap, it makes it so much easier. 148 typically carries 75 passengers, they were in both short and long range versions. However, the Titan is extremely versatile, as you see, it's a very performance. Extremely versatile, specialized bones of the airframe and the VIP configuration. The maritime process, very important. Small parcel freighter, palletized cargo freighter, anything you want, really. 158. That was originally, actually, if you remember, the 148-200 series, but now called the 158. It stretched 99 passengers, a bit longer legs, up to around about 1,600 nautical miles. Now, the 158, produced solely in Kiev, in the Ukraine. Again, for the word, uh, cargo version with a rear ramp available, 168. That was called the Antonov Business Jet. 168. Essentially, really, I suppose a 146 is large, but the rear doors have been got rid of. Winglets and school. A little bit of nothing around. But this one here displaying is the very latest of the family of the Antonov aircraft, the 170. The total type of this was announced in 2010. Make the flight took place in Kiev on May the 7th of the last year. Antonov anticipate the market for total around about 1,100 aircraft. That's what we're aiming for. We wish them all the success. Now the aircraft they're intending to replace, the 178, being the development of 158, it and its sisters, intended to replace the old Antonov, the AN26 and the 32. Lots of commonality between the family of aircraft but just various different variants. <laughs> you carry all sorts of things, three hundred sized vehicles, 72 troops, 68 paratroopers, 40 stretches, not all at the same time. It's got a good airframe life, around about 80,000 hours. That's probably around about 30 years of service, or 60,000 landings, that sort of thing. Depends on really where you deploy the aircraft to what the lifetime span is. It's quick to change an engine. If you lose an engine, I have to send my way to service. It takes just like two hours, a couple of hours to change the engine. It's capable of landing on unpaved landing strips. It's a rough old operating place that go, which is very, very useful. Landing run of just over a thousand metres. I'm not certain we're going to see a short landing today or not. It's the first time we've seen it flying here at Farm Rock. 
but just a fraction over a thousand meters to land.